We're back here. Up with some other show. Me and Chris from uh, Vinny Bucci is resting on his bed. Wow. Any females in your bed? No. No. Okay. And and, and Dylan slides with the female crickets. Uh, um, all the female qu crickets are like, uh, they're all uh, like uh, horny for Dylan. <laughs> Right, Dylan? All the female crickets are horny for you? <laughs> just crickets. All right, let, let's just ignore what you just said. Let's move on to what, what, we're, what we're supposed to be talking about, whatever. So, so Vinny, yes, happy birthday again to your mom. Your mom, Thank mom, you. just um, birthday was back in August 1st. That's the day we we're recording this. We're doing it early because somehow I'm ahead of recording. Like, I'm two weeks ahead of time, you know? It feels good because, you know, like, I get to do other stuff and travel and y you never know what's going to happen, you know. So it's always like, it's good to get things done way in advance, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah. So, as I said to Dylan, um, I'm going to talk about the NYC trip I just went on. But first, I want to talk about, I was on the Franchise Morning Show. Give it a shout out to DJ Franchise. Uh, was on there to talk about No Lips, No Teeth and my podcast, too. So... Dylan, you heard the shout out. Vinny, you didn't have time to hear the shout out of yourself, right? No, I didn't. Dylan, what did you think about my shout out of you and Vinny Bucci on the franchise morning show? That's on 101.1 in Providence. And I broadcast his his show every morning on the dance. No, I on the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, say radio TV. You'll listen to com. I broadcast the show. The same network I broadcast your show, Dylan. Every Friday at nine o'clock. Yeah, so it was, it was funny what they were saying. They were saying, "Oh, they, they, the names you said sound like they're Hollywood names," and they're they're making a joke about Vinny's name, saying it sounds like a hitman. Yes, yes, he sounds like the uh, sounds like the mob. Yeah, because here in Rhode Island and Boston, Erie, New England, like the mafia. Yeah, but you know what I was thinking when I was w watching you? I was just like, this, this dude over here, because you were talking about your comedy, comedy poetry. And then, yeah. like, when you closed it out, you were saying, yeah, I don't know what was the first part you used it, but you're like, hey, you, I'm a Jew, or something, something oh, around yes. the Yes, at the end, I says, um, 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 out now is No Lips, No Teeth, Chapter 2, and I'm a Jew, and Vinny's wearing blue. Vinny, you, you are wearing blue. Yeah, this is blue. See, see, and I'm a I'm a, I was raised a Jew, you know, and no, and you're all in no lips, no teeth, chapter two. Yes. Yeah. We we, we kind of got all that, but thanks so, for the clarification. So, how would you think the show shout out is? Uh, so, so Dylan, what did, what did you think about the shout outs of Vinny and you? I thought, I thought it was cool because, uh, Sorry? I thought it was cool because, uh, what, would you say that these guys are like, uh, the equivalent to what Ramiro is in Boston? Uh, no, uh, I mean, they're, they're in a league of their own. I think they're better. I mean, me personally, I mean, Romero is on a more of a established station. Like, you know, like. Yeah. Uh, but just because they said that doesn't mean. I just think they're a league of their own. They're, they're better. You know what I'm saying? Me personally. You know what I'm saying? Though Romero is nice to me, too. So, you know, I, I can't say they're better. Actually, personally, because Romero shows a lot of love to me, but but I'm on a franchise's morning show. I'm not on the Romero show. So, though Romero was in my movies before, <laughs> so they just have their own style. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you you got them over Romero because they put you on the radio show. Yeah, yeah. Um, now. 
what 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 did you think about uh, them saying River Shapiro? Oh, here's River. It's like right on cue, right on cue. Yes. You, 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 I showed that, off. I, I, want, on, I, want, I want the coyote female. I swear that was part of the script. That was part the of the script female. right there because you said, and girls you said will see my belly. Wait, Dylan, girls will see my belly button. What in the world? So, where, where did Booch go? So, what do you think about what do you think about the coyote female no, Dylan, and on. the rat female and the naked cowboy? Because I was, I wish I, I, I could do that. I wish I was the naked cowboy. Well, the naked cowboy is on the, I wish, I wish, the show. I wish I was the naked cowboy. I can be my underwear all day. <laughs> and, it can, and the females can, be, can see me in my underwear. Well, first of all, <laughs> uh, we're, discussing, we're, we're discussing about the... Um, the Why what, is it laughing? Okay, <laughs> okay. we're discussing what, what Franchise said, the morning show said about River. They said that River's um, name sounds like Leonardo DiCaprio, like a Hollywood name. Do you think... Yeah. Sounds like a Hollywood name. Yeah, there, uh, he does have. Um, he definitely has a name of an entertainer. Yes, and I, I gave a shout out to my daughter's um, photography, Brantos's photography. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So a lot of shout outs I did, you know. So oh yeah, Vinny, I was telling the franchise morning show mentioned that River's name, River Shapiro, sounds like a Hollywood star. Okay. And that um just with different names, Vinnie Bucci, you know, you know, River Shapiro, you know, like like they just they were highlighting your name, Vinny, a lot and River's name. You with the mob and him with the Hollywood name. Okay. So what do you think about that? Is, is that a compliment? Would you say the, by the franchise morning show? Yes. Well, of course it's a compliment. They're saying you sound like a Hollywood star. That's going to be a compliment. What about you? Sound like a hitman? No. Well, yeah, I've, I've heard that. Well, I've, I mean, yeah, it's a compliment, but I've heard that like a hundred thousand times. It's so it's Coyote not like no. be, no, being no. being associated with the mob is not new to me. <laughs> well, it's well, well, not, well, then it's again, not well, new. well, because because <laughs> well, D Dylan's names are so associated with crickets and and. Coyotes, you know? Well, because <laughs> I guess I'm laughing because because of Dylan because he's your because <laughs> I guess I'm laughing. Yes. Shit, honey, take a shit female. Okay. Also, <laughs> I want to talk about the NYC trip. Now, uh, also, um, I want to kiss a coyote. I want to milk one. What? <laughs> Please. Okay. Let's talk about the New York trip. Let's talk about the New York trip. I love that coyotes. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, Trump. I just love doing your episode once again. That's fine. Okay, let's get back to the let's get back to the uh, topic. Our conversation. New York City Ooh, trip. Coffee. When's the last time you've been in New York, Dylan? When's me? Yes. Me? I've never been to New York City. Just like driving past there to go to my main destination. Like, not not like New York City. Just New York in general. What's the capital of New York, Dylan? Albany, right? What? Well, Albany, yes. right? Yes. yes. Albany female. Yes. So, Vinny, when's the last time you've been in New York? 2018. And, and how was your experience there? Um, I'd say it was okay. I, it was fun. You know, I was visiting. I was visiting Alex at the time. I performed at the comedy oh, strip. I went to SummerSlam. Like for me, I haven't been to New York since last year. Yes, correct. Now, now, Vinny, when you go to New York, do you see my friend, the Naked Cowboy? No. No. Dylan. I've never seen him. If you go to New York, would you visit the Naked Cowboy and say, we've been in the same movie together? I'm not going to say that. I'd probably, I'd probably go in that area for, for the laughs of it, but I'm not going to say that. Would you say, Vinny, if you, if you got a chance to – See the naked cowboy? Would you say we have a mutual friend? No, I probably wouldn't talk to him. I'd probably just be like, "Hi." I, I probably just, you know, either watch him or give a little wave and keep walking. It's not a naked cowboy. It's not like somebody I really want to socialize with. But knowing that you've been in the same movie as him, isn't that astonishing? Well, 
I mean, <laughs> he's a random guy on the street, Derek. It's not like you <laughs> went through a casting call and the <laughs> naked cowboy not, auditioned. You, he's not you walked random. up to him, you said hello, and he played a song going, Chucky Seymour, Chucky Seymour. Like, that's not really <laughs> like a... But for, I wouldn't for, consider that a starring role. You know what I mean? That's like a. Yes, it is. Yes, it I is. It's like a cameo. It's he a cameo. Made, like, it, hey, a special appearance, special appearance, cameo appearance from, you know, the Naked Cowboy. It's like all the cameo appearances in the Deadpool movie. Well, look, I, I just recorded him today. I was in New York today. Um, whoever watched D Shop in the morning. And I I, 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 I I recorded him for the ne next year's film, Chapter 3, coming out next year, too. Um, but the thing is, but did you know that Jimmy Kimmel, no, Jimmy Fallon, rather, to, of The Tonight Show, recently said a joke about the Naked Cowboy? No, yeah, I, I, don't watch, I don't watch The Tonight Show. Okay, Jimmy, J okay, Jimmy Fallon, the, the Tonight Show, Said so it's so hot outside. Like this is a, a few weeks ago. It was so hot outside that Elmo was dressed like the naked cowboy. What do you think about that joke that Jimmy Fallon said? That what? Okay, Jimmy Fallon said, quote unquote, <laughs> that it's so hot outside that Elmo because because they, they had the characters outside in Times Square. Like the Elmo, SpongeBob. No, no, no. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and uh, and they had this big gorilla today, and and so a few weeks ago when it was was the heat wave here in New England, Jimmy Fallon said on the Tonight Show, "It's so hot outside." Elmo was dressed like the naked cowboy, and they showed Elmo with his underwear. So, no, knowing that he was referenced on the Tonight Show, when my movie's out, is that something or what? Yeah, I, I feel like there's a cor yeah, I feel like there's a correlation. Like Jimmy Fallon was promoting you by saying the Naked Cowboy. In a way, yeah. In a way. <laughs> no, like, yeah, the the two don't go together. Like. Hold on. I think it does. Oh, who you're calling somebody? Or yeah. oh, you're playing the club? Um, no. I'm gonna ask the naked cowboy himself. Hello, this is naked cowboy. Leave your name <laughs> a voicemail. Hey, you're Hello, sure. this is naked cowboy. Leave your name, number, and brief. Anyway, I should have asked him that. What he thinks about the Jimmy, the Jimmy, um, the Jimmy, uh, Fallon, you know, hold said on. that. Hold, hold, and, hold, 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 hold the fuck up. Hold on a second. You, you have the naked cow. How did you get the naked cowboy's phone number? Two, well, it's on his site. So. You were about to call the naked cowboy. <laughs> I called him a few times, like, like a year. Okay. Does he know your name? That's I, a, that's what I want to know. Does he actually know your name? <laughs> and we're not like Cheers, like everybody knows your name. No, no, I can't say that. And you're, and you're calling him why? Because I want to ask him what he thinks about. Him being referenced on the Tonight Show. Oh dear Lord! I mean, I mean, at the end of the show, I called him a few weeks ago. He's out, he's already on the same show as us already. But I just wanted to ask him about that part, you know. But he must be sleeping, you know. Yeah. Because you know we're calling this late. Um, oh, but you know the Nika Cowboys, but on David Letterman before too, you know. And he's been in some movies. If you look at his bio, he made appearances on some other movies too. Did you know that? No, no I didn't. But my NYC trip, me and River, we went to NYC and I performed at this place called um, 
be off so offset I think and it was mainly like I was mainly like there was mainly black people there and I was only one of a few white people I was performing um, um I am the tiger straight to the top and everybody was giving me high five praises at this place and give a shout out to Troy the DJ there um it was um hold on it was where was I doing it um it was a spur of the moment and I went to Offside NYU, right by NYU, New York University. It was awesome. And then after that, me and River, we went to this hotel called the Orchard Street Hotel. And we were right across the street from Insomnia Cookies. You ever hear of Insomnia Cookies, Dylan, in Boston? Insomnia Cookies? I have no, I don't think place. Uh, Vinny, would you go to this place called Sonia Cookies? They have it in Boston. Um, they have it in two in Providence, and they had it right in New York City. Like the what? It's called Insomnia Cookies, and they serve ice cream there. It's very good. They were giving free cookies out for Rivers graduation in Providence. Oh, that Providence. was the place. For, that was the what? place in where you get where River got those cookies. Oh yeah, you were with us, yes, and, and they had yeah. a hotel. If you look it up, it's it's a cool place, Insomnia. It's it, they have it usually near college areas, you know, because we're right near the NYU campus, you know. I guess you know, and 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 I, I went to the one in um, Amherst, Mass, one time too, so it was pretty cool. And then uh, it was very hot in New York. I'm telling you, it was so hot in New York. The rats were cooling off in the basement. Vinny, we can't hear you. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, did you hear that joke? It was so yes, hot in New York. The, the, rats were the rats were in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, oh, rats. But, oh, oh Vinny, I forgot to tell well, I, I, I told Dylan on the first part. I was in Fall River, Mass. This past week, and I saw a nice juicy rat. It was so big. It was bigger than my. What are you referring to as juicy? That I'm. I'm still thrown off by you saying referring to a rat as juicy. It was a like juicy J. Don't don't ever put his name in there like that again. No. No, never. Don't don't disrespect his name like that. Juicy, no, yeah, juicy. Wait, Juicy J, is he still living? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right, he's like your age. My age. Yeah, he's like a little. No, yeah, he's a little older than you. He's like to I think woman, he's forty nine. To the woman, I, I'm Juicy Derek. <laughs> that I think Vinny's doing doing my method now. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. We'll end the show. Um, coming up, the Naked Cowboy segment that I taped uh, a few weeks ago, and we'll come back on the episode monthly show, the month of August. We'll be back closing up the show. Episode monthly show. We'll be back. <laughs> 